Tell him to shut the hell up, man. <laughs> What's going on? Hey, man, we live here, brother. Once again, man, thank you for blessing this show, man. What's in your glass? Uh, usually how we do this is, you know, we, we sit, we conversate, living room talk about uh, about the just the community of wine, people loving wine, uh, mm. you know, different fascinations, people, you know, learning, being educated on, on, on just the wine industry. Um, but I think today we're going to try to do it a little bit different because it ain't really nothing to be celebrating right now. It's, mm. it's, it's things that need to be talked about, things that need to be discussed. But at the same time, we still want to keep the essence of kind of what's in your glass and, you know, have a toast. So we start off usually with um, just a virtual toast. So I want a virtual toast to you and to everybody who's locked in. I told you, yeah. hey, Carmelo's glass is much fancier than mine. Can I please have a, I need a better glass here. Uh, yeah, this one, this one is just fine. This is just fine. All right, all right. Yeah. All right. Yeah, you can't. Uh, but you know, it's, it's it's you know, kind of given the state of where we at as a country this week. What's in your glass? Well, you know, we're gonna focus more on just the state of where we at as a country. We're right. gonna focus. We're gonna focus on kind of the black issue, black people in this country facing two, two, one pandemic and one pandemic. Yeah, uh, got it. And and and, and it's, it's just a systematic generational racism that. That got us to a breaking point where we at right now. And then uh with, with with that being said, first of all, how you doing, my brother? Ah oh, man, I mean I'm man, I'm torn up just like everybody else, emotional, you know, angry, upset, um, sick and tired of it, uh, fed up. Uh and I and I I I rarely, I try not to speak when I'm in a place where I'm, where I'm emotional or apathetic because it's, you know, it's, it's hard. For one, you say a lot of things that you probably shouldn't say. And for two, you know, it's just hard to find your words. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, but I will focus on the fact that as long as I've been living, I've been hearing people say how we don't stick together. Right. The past, the, the, like the past few days, we've been sticking together. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? And anybody who deviate from what is assumed or presumed should be the overall consensus, you know, has been checked. Absolutely. Know? Including me. Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, but one thing, man, I always want to try and is focus on the things that bring us together rather than we do the things that tear us apart. Like we may have a different idea of how to get there, but we all on the same journey and we all fighting for the same cause. Uh, and we all on the same side. We all have the same enemy. How we choose to actually get results or what we think may be appropriate or, or not appropriate, okay, that may differ. But we all had enough. We all fed up. We all know something must be done. We all on the same side, fighting the same enemy. Uh, so I say we start there and live, build, and grow. Gotcha, gotcha. Because we, you know, right now we are. We know that the, you know, the current state where we at is is, is in a total disarray. Right. Uh, like how 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 are you managing this? Like how how is it how is it for your family? I mean, man, it's you know. <sighs> Every day is different because we're, we're dealing with so many different things, you know. Um, of course, you know, we just in, in, in Georgia, we just had Amar Aubrey down in Brunswick. Uh, and we're, we're, you know, trying to pay very close attention to the details of, 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 that, of that process. Um, and before we before we could even wrap our minds around it, uh, the gentleman in Indianapolis, the, the ex-veteran, uh, was killed by yeah. the police. Uh, and before we could wrap our minds around that, the young lady Brianna in Kentucky absolutely was killed by the police. And I might mind you, the hero in that is the young man who, who returned fire. Mm. When the officer kicked the door in, that's a fact. The young man who returned fire inevitably killing one of the officers who came in shooting profusely and ended up killing Brianna. His charges were later dropped. You know, so he, to in my in my eyes, is a hero in this movie. Right. And of course, 
you know, the atrocity of George Floyd. And then yes, then just last night, another black man gunned down in Kentucky. Yep. See, I want everybody to know that I don't think that this is haphazard. I don't think this is by mistake. I don't think that this just happened to be. I truly believe that this is a strategic approach to turn the citizens against the government. That's just, you know what I'm saying, from what I've read and, you know, all of the the the, the teachings of, of the, the leaders that came before me, that to me is what I see. Right. How, how, how you how you how you um, as far as parenting, right, as, as, you know, as far as parenting your sons and, and, and your daughters, like what is that message? I know your, your kids are a little older, but what what's what's those messages like? Like, how do you sit down? I, I know for me, I'm having a hard a hard time sitting down with, with my son at 13 years old, who's right in the he's in the mix. Right. He's, he's in the mix of, of kind of what everything is and just that age in America as a young black male. How what 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 are you telling or the conversation that you having that you having with with your son and your daughters at this at this stage? I mean, I think that first of all, they have to understand that this is not a problem that they brought about. This is not a problem that they caused. This was like this before they got here. It was like this before I got here. We just have to find the best way to deal with it and remain. Uh, uh, safe, healthy, and free in the process. Mm. Um, I think the best way to do that is to remove emotion. And that's very difficult, especially for young people, to remove emotion from the circumstances. Even even though you know this policeman is dealing with you in, 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 egreg in an egregious manner that you don't deserve, even though they're accusing you of doing something you know you didn't do, even though you know they're treating you like a person that you know you aren't. You still have to remove all that emotion and remember you got to make it home. You can fight them in the courtroom. We ain't gonna have that fight right here on the scene of whatever this traffic stop or whatever this incident is. You ain't right. gonna get no understanding from them because if you ain't if you already have not done anything and they're still dealing with you egregiously, then they had it made up in their mind that they was gonna deal with you egregiously no matter what you say and no matter what you do. So you could just say, you know, I, I plead the fifth. But is, is, is that in, in your eyes? Because I, I know is is that does that sometimes you think it's being heard, right? And, and even if it's just from your kids or kids that's, that you mentor, that you talk to, that you speak to, is it really being heard, or yeah. is it is it to a point where we're dealing with a new generation? We're dealing with a new age protester today. We right? definitely. Oh, we did right. so it's like so it's it's kind of, for me yeah. I find it, it's kind of hard to kind of dig deep and tell somebody tell a kid today this is what you got to look at this is what you got to learn this is what you should know when they they know my son he's 13 right and he doesn't seen he doesn't witness maybe six seven police killings right of, of, of a black man in, in, in 13 years my first 13 years I saw a different type of killings, right? We didn't, I ain't see police killing. I saw, right. you know, I, I saw a different type of killing. So it was just like we're dealing with a new, different breed of protesters who sure. don't know consequence, who don't give a damn about consequence, who's ready to go at 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 by any means necessary. So I say that to say, what is that message to our youth today? Not just your kids, but what is your what is the message to the youth today? Well, first off, like with the, from the first question, when you said, what do I tell them and do they listen? And is it, you know, is it, are they receiving it? Uh, I think it's hit or miss. And the reason it's hit or miss because there are no right answers. There's nothing that they can do to guarantee they will not be killed. Right. There's nothing I can tell them like, okay, for sure, without fail, if you do it like this, you'll stay alive. I can't, I don't have that answer. Right. So for that, for, for that reason, is they they kind of they hear and don't hear. Okay, yeah, we'll try that, but if that shit don't work, I'm I'm gonna handle it my way. Right. You know what I mean? I think that's kind of how it's received. Uh understandably so. But I think the main message that I have to the youth is that that we support you. We we may not always understand you. Yeah. We are all on the same side, and it's gonna take uh a lot of what you got and a little bit of what we got mixed in together to defeat this 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 beast that we have ahead of us um and it's a it's a 
a dastardly machine with clandestine intentions. And I don't think that my way alone gonna work. I don't think your way alone gonna work, Carmelo. I don't think their way alone will work. But right. together, collectively, if we can find a way to kind of play each card when it's time to, I think that's how you move forward with the appropriate amount of force, effort, energy, and purpose. Yeah, I I, I agree with that. For me, I, I, my, my take on that is, <clears throat> even though even though everybody's out there doing what we're doing, we're protesting, we're standing up for what we believe in, we're standing up for what's right, we're standing up for the injustices. I don't think people understand when they when they question why people are protesting today, I don't think they understand that this country was built on protest at the end of the day, right? We, 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 we protested to have this country to be what it is today, to where it's at today. And the people that's in power is abusing that, right, at, at, at the end of the day. So for me, it's, it's more like, I'm, I, I, I don't like I don't I don't like tearing up our shit. I don't like tearing up our communities. But there comes a time where we can't we can't tell people to stop at, at this very moment. We got to do it in a, we got to do it in a, in a very sensitive way. We got to be careful of what we say and the words sure. that we use because sure. we we the influencers in, in in our in our community, which is the black right. community. So right. and, it, and it's it's a race thing. But if you see. Asians, you see blacks, you see whites, you see, you know, you see a lot of people out there coming it's, it's together. It's not a race war. It's, it's not a race war. war. This is fair and decent people against white supremacists and indecent people. You right. know what I'm saying? Uh, I think that our people of all colors, all shades, our religions, uh, 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 our orientations are all lining up to fight the good fight against uh the oppressor, I believe, like that, and that's I think that's destiny. It's been ordained to be this way. Uh, I was with my partner Usher, mm -hmm. and he told me, he said, Man, he had a conversation with his grandma, and, and immediately I envied him because he still had his grandma. <laughs> but and I don't think people understand like how important it is to have you know those generations that have seen so much throughout the years and can offer you insight as you deal with what we're dealing with right now today. But uh he said that she told him this is the spirit of David. Wow as in, as in David and Goliath. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Like, if we show up with enough faith, if we show up without fear, then I believe that the universe and the, 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 the prophecy will do everything that we can't do. You dig what I'm saying? It ain't all on us. It ain't all on us. You know what I'm saying? We are, all we got to do is what's humanly possible. And I believe that, you know, the divine order of, of, of Mother Nature, Father Time, Jesus, God, Allah, whoever you believe in, I believe the the, the divine order of, of a higher power will kick in. That just made me think about something. That did. so do you think do you think any of that is being thought of as I say we as a community are going out there protesting? Do you think we're thinking about religion? Do you think we're thinking about, you know what I mean? Like I don't I don't see people like let me oh angle, but I ain't gonna do this because no, you know, I, I mean, that's, you know what I'm saying? I don't think that's fresh on their mind. But I, what I'm saying is, right, if you are fighting for a purpose and right. you are acting uh uh with the cause at heart, correct, you are being your steps are being guided by mm -hmm. a high power, some greater than you. And if if your if your mission is righteous then that high power is going to lead you and everybody with you through into victory. And that's just how I feel from, you know what I'm saying, from things that I've seen. Uh, I've never seen a police station burn. So that's when, that's when, <laughs> listen, that's when I knew shit was real. Yeah. That's when I knew we was dealing with a new type of, uh, demonstrate a new type of protest today. Now, mind you, now, mind you, let's not take away from the fact that everybody out there fighting and everybody out there demonstrating ain't with us. That's, that's, and I, everybody I, I out there, please, now, please yeah. say that again. Please say that again. Everybody out there ain't with us. Everybody out there ain't got a righteous cause at heart. Some people are out there because they are perpetuating uh, a civil unrest, but like to, to bring about 
whether it's martial law, civil war, whatever that is, there are people who have agendas, initiatives. Uh, and there are people being paid. There are people who are being paid. If you see white people with their faces covered up and 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 they you know spray painting propaganda on the side of buildings, uh, they those people are are they call them agent provocateurs. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? They they agitators. They out there to disrupt. So is that on, is that on is that on us? Nah, it ain't on us, man. Okay, not, okay. not 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 me and you, but the people. But we, but we can't let that hijack the movement. We right. can't so, let that commandeer our purpose. Absolutely, you know I, agree with, I agree with that. So is that on is that on us? For, meaning the people that's there seeing that. Do we stop that, or do we allow, or do we do we re rely on the, the the officers in the in the in the in the, in the Everything that's coming our way to stop that. I, nah, we definitely we can't rely on the officers to do a goddamn thing. So I think if, if we've learned nothing else, we've learned that we can't rely Absolutely. on them. Absolutely. Um, however, I mean, yes, yes, and no. But how do we stop that? The fight to be in, but I've seen, I saw, uh, I saw videos of a young lady who ran up on a car and and, and kind of chastised a chick. A car full of, of, of agitators for passing out bricks mm. to black people in the crowd, kind of encouraging them to, you know what I'm saying, to break windows and shit. And the the young lady, the sister was telling them that don't do no shit like that. Why you come out here giving them bricks? They can get killed for throwing a brick. You know what right. I'm saying? Why would you do that? Right. And the answer to why they would do that is because that that's what they were paid to come do. Yeah. And they're doing it in the name of our movement. But when the shit hit the fan, they're gonna be comfortably at home. And we the ones that we the ones that's gonna be affected by that. And they don't even most of them don't even live in the cities that they're coming to destroy. Right. Right. And and, and speaking on speaking on the cities, like we 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 got protests happening in at least uh 30 cities in America right now. Like I know I know Atlanta is is you know, is is the water has you know has boiled out the pot like the, they, the lid is off the pot and and, right. and and just all throughout the country. I think our country right now that that lid is off of it. Um, sure. Like like what what's your message to those people? Like what you know what what's happening or how it's happening? What do we say to them? Like I'm I'm still trying to figure out what that message is. Right? Like do we say anything? How do we say it? What do we say? Because it is a sensitive time right now. What's sure. what's your thoughts on that? I mean, my message first is a message of support. You dig what I'm saying? We understand. We with you. You know, uh, I think that America has an uh, incredible debt to pay. You know what I'm saying? And, and the laws of reciprocity are in order, I think. But in order for the movement to, 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 to make the most significant amount of impact, you got to have an incredible amount of purpose and direction. You know what I'm saying? Uh, there will be exceptions to every rule. However, I think if you lead with purpose and direction, uh, I think you 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 make more more impact that way. And it's, it's it's on us as leaders to lead because we can't we can't rely on the leaders that's in place right now to lead us. What is but there are no leaders in place. I think that's the thing that got to be pointed out. There are no leaders in place. You know what I'm saying? This is 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 basically the wild wild west air man for itself. You know, is 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 is, is vigilantes and and kamikazes. Like yeah. it, ain't, it ain't no leaders. Everybody just moving. You know, based on what they see the next person doing. Uh, and and that's you know that is I accept responsibility for that because I didn't organize anything. You know what I'm saying? I didn't yeah. I didn't say no, let's not go there, let's go here. However, I will say this now. Whoever's listening to me in Atlanta or Georgia, if you can hear my voice or see my face, dig this. Before we fuck this up right here in Atlanta, that is the largest, most notorious white supremacist uh monument at Stone Mountain. Absolutely. In Marietta Square. That's where black people used to be hanged regularly, like a Sunday matinee, okay? And that's 15 minutes away. Right. In Brunswick, 
they 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 killed the man Amar Aubrey. And okay, so it, that's what I mean by purpose and direction. You dig what I'm saying? Absolutely. Yeah. Now, don't get me wrong, because we're dealing with a lot of things. People have been in the house for three months. You know, over 40 million people have filed for unemployment. There's been, you know, an economic disparity in our community for our people for generations. So, of course, if we get an opportunity, man, to shine a little bit and, and treat ourselves, understood. However, when we start talking about making effective change for the struggle and oppression of our people, then let's make sure we have purpose and direction. Yeah, because we got to we got to we got to plot first. We got to plot plan. We got to put the plan together. Then we go out there and and and, and execute it. And and I don't think people I don't think people understand that right now. And oh, I don't think people want to hear that right now, right? But <laughs> but the, this I think the smartest thing to do, and this is just me, I'm just one voice, is to start now that we got their attention. We got to start plotting and planning because. They're gonna shut shit down. They're gonna they're gonna do everything in their power to shut shit down and to try to shut us up. How do we come out of this as a as, as a black community? What are we putting together? What strategies are we putting together? What plans are we putting forward together? What 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 issues are we bringing to the forefront after this is over? What bills are we trying to go out there and get passed? Let's talk about the local, you know, the local powers that be the mayors, the, the you know, the, the assemblymen, the congress, the congressmen, the senators from those areas. What can we really put in place to help our educational system? What can we put in place to help our, our you know, prison reform and, and, and just everything that's going on? So I, I'm, I'm with you. I'm with you on that. Um, another, another question. We're going to go. Let's jump to a fan real quick. Mario Waters said, sure. uh, what will we do when the bullets are real instead of rubber? Mm. That's an excellent question. Well, if you if you have uh, your Second Amendment right still and you can bear arms, arm yourself, protect your family, teach your children how to shoot, teach your wife how to shoot uh, and, and, you know, learn how to defend yourself and your family at all costs. I think I think that's, you know, imperative. That's yeah. imperative. Uh, that's that's unfortunately the best answer. Yeah, and, it, and it's you know honestly I'm I, I really wanted to I really wanted to chop it up with you on this one because I I, I really I, I like the way that you kind of voice your opinion and there's no there's no bias right and 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 you're 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 in a place in Atlanta that is one of the places in America that enough is enough. Right. You, 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 you cannot keep doing this to us and we just sit back and turn the other cheek. Um, so I, I really want to chop it over with you on that. So I, I honestly, again, I appreciate you coming on doing this. Um, we, got, we got another question um, from Just Do It. It says, who's sitting down with the police chiefs and unions to address ways they can change or how they do their work? Um, well, I tell you what, I do know that uh, until freedom. Until Freedom is an organization that is headed by Tamika Mallory and my son, uh, and they they do phenomenal work. They've been boots on the ground everywhere from uh, Dallas to Kentucky to Na Indianapolis, and now they just left Minneapolis, uh, and they 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 have been pushing. They are pushing for legislation. They're sitting down with these police chiefs and these politicians to get things done for on our behalf. I think that's another thing that has come uh, from the past couple of days. I believe that Tamika Mallory has kind of presented herself as the most formidable leader for this particular movement of ours. Uh, she's committed. She's dedicated. She's definitely uh, uh, experienced. Um, and I, I follow her into any war. Anytime. Um, good. I, I, I thank you for that. Um, let me see. Is, any questions you got for me? You can just be, be you know, you can just throw them at me. Uh, what you what's 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 your what's your thoughts on what what we can do as individuals, right? And 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 as communities. Hmm. That's a broad question. There's so much we can do. Uh I mean, man, I hate to sound cliche-ish, but you definitely need to 
get just as excited about showing up to the polls when it's time to vote elected officials in uh, and hold them accountable. Once you vote for somebody, they should care about what you care about. Um, Elaborate on that because a lot of people, and I, I, I don't have this conversation with a lot of people. It's like, yo, my vote don't count. What am I voting for? Right. So elaborate on how important, it is, how important it is to vote for these local officials and the, you know, from from a standpoint of how powerful those local officials really are when it comes to our individual communities. I mean, so first of all, I understand why people would say, uh, why am I voting? What am I voting for? What are we going to get? What is this going to change? How is this going to fix it? I understand that because I've seen examples where the system did not work as it should. I've seen those examples. I mean, I've seen where, you know, there are people who come in and if it's close enough, they can steal it. You dig what I'm saying? I understand all that. However, if you don't vote, you absolutely lose <laughs> without question. You know what I'm saying? That's just like you, you, you miss a hundred percent of the shots you don't take. Absolutely. And so, I think that you know we have to kind of overcome that 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 discouraging feeling that we have about voting because when we have put people in position, let's just take Atlanta for for example, because we we were able to mobilize ourselves uh, consistently over and over, time and time and time again. And elect officials, put them in position, whether it's police chief, whether it's uh, sheriffs, whether it's count, city councilmen, uh, whether it's the mayor, uh, the district attorneys. So we put them in position. Therefore, we are able to get our needs met and our concerns heard. Uh, I get like like the uh, the other night there were there were there were there were two young people that were driving and were pulled out of the car and that were handled egregiously uh, and tased by two officers from the Atlanta Police Department. I saw it. I was outraged immediately. And it was right after I had said, hey man, Atlanta ain't the place where we need to be doing this, right? Uh, and I, I felt that then and I feel that now, and this is why. And when I saw it, right, I immediately got on my horn and, and, and I hit the mayor. Hey, yo, look at this. This ain't, hey, we can't do this. And and she immediately said, I, I'm researching, finding out everything about it, and I'll update you shortly. And by the time I woke up, I looked at a text saying they both were fired. I looked at all the body cam footage. They, they acted inappropriately and they have been fired. You can't really get that kind of action nowhere else for real right, right now mind you it's not perfect but where else can we get that kind of that kind of response to what we care about to the matters that affect us greatly no i, I haven't seen anywhere else and 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 that's a i mean that's a prime example of how important local officials being voted in absolutely that, that that's a prime example of that because if we don't if we think we just gonna go straight to the top and try to change everything, it ain't nothing happening right now. We gotta start from the ground up. We gotta start from our, our, our communities. We gotta get our local officials on board. We gotta get the right people that we want in there who can make change. And and but but how but how do we um let me see how can I say this? How for the for the youth, right? How do we how do we activate young people, right? To use their to use their voice. Yeah, have you been like you? Watch the TV, they active as a motherfucker right now. Yeah, so 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 how do we so how do we take this? What's what's next from here? Mm. Well, um or what's what what from and again there's no right or wrong answer. Man, we have so many things that we're dealing with, it's such a multi-layered problem that we are addressing right now. Right. Uh, you 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 of course you have the the atrocity that happened in Minneapolis with, with, with Brother George Floyd. Uh and then you also have the atrocity that happened in Kentucky with, with Sister Brianna. Um like it's so many different things that are happening that must be addressed. Uh I believe that 
The demonstrations in Minneapolis have now caused for the state to hand over the case to the attorney general, which is the feds. So now it's out of the state hands. So it's going to be dealt with completely, like in a completely different manner now. So I, I, I hope that we can depend on justice. Even just saying like the uh, just just uh, a few minutes ago, I saw that the independent autopsy differed from the 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 one from the state coroner or the county the county coroner. Now now, now that you see what I'm saying? Of course, of course. It's, which tells us, okay, so hopefully now that it's in the feds' hands, which the feds ain't, you know what I'm saying, they're not perfect either. But hopefully now that it's in the feds' hands, then we we can we can kind of hang our hat on, on it being dealt with more severely as it should be. Now we gotta do the same thing in Kentucky. We gotta do the same thing in Indianapolis. We gotta do the same thing in Brunswick. Like we gotta continue to 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 show our disdain for this treatment until we can create the kind of leverage that can get us the answers that we deserve and the action that we deserve. Another thing we can do, the most powerful thing that we have, I believe, is our buying power. Mm. Our buying power. If we collectively say, for instance, I know Target closed down their stores in honor of whatever, whatever. But if we were to say, hey, we ain't shopping at Target. And so y'all apply pressure in Minneapolis and get something done. Right. Man, these politicians depend on the contributions of Target for their campaigns for them to continue to get elected. Absolutely. So if we apply pressure to Target's bottom line, after we burn it down, I guess. Right. but if we apply pressure to Target's bottom line, then that's going to create the sort of leverage that will they can lean on these politicians for us. They can lean on law enforcement for us. And that goes all the way up to the top. What what? So how do we support, right? Because it's a lot of it's a lot of issues we're dealing with right now, right? It's from from go ahead, go and get your drink. Go ahead, get your drink. That's what's that? What you drinking over there? Man, this is actually Sincoro. Okay, okay, that's that. That's that MJ, huh? Yeah, this is Coral Tequila. The goat got it to me, man. He got it to me so I can watch the last dance, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, he's a friend of mine. You did I know, I know, I know. And <laughs> hey, you remember when he was on the bus on, on the last day? Listen, <laughs> it's brand new. It's not out yet. It's not out yet. He's a friend of mine. You dig what I'm saying? <laughs> we could, we could, we could, to, we could toast to that for sure. You dig what I'm saying? <laughs> let me ask, let me, let me ask you something else as far as how do we, how do we continue, or how do we start? Uh, and if you started, how do we continue to support kind of just black businesses? Because they're they're being very affected during this time. Right. It, 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 even with COVID, you know, it started with COVID. They was already struggling before, but COVID kind of really put, you know, put a dent in that. And then this right here has really just kind of, you know, broke the broke the camera back with this. I want to let every young person, every uh, everybody within hip hop, everybody on the side of right. Everybody who fighting for this call. We have all the power we need. We can build or destroy any business, any brand, any corporation, uh, any, any, any artist, any activist. And we can build. All we have to do is show united support or united disgust to build or destroy it. Any corporation, any person, any any anything we want to, and the power comes from our collective effort. Do you think we know that? Do you think we are starting to we are starting to understand our power, uh, and and in particular at these moments right now? Mm. I mean, I think we I think we're slowly beginning to realize it. I mean, I've been preaching it for at least about three, four years now. You know what I'm saying? We I think, you know, little things like the 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 Gucci movement, uh, you know, little things, small things that, you know what I'm saying, that 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 we along the way find our footing. Um but we haven't we haven't galvanized all that effort and directed it in one place. Like when, okay, so 
back when apartheid was 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 still in effect in South Africa, there were students in the AUC that learned about apartheid, saw that corporations like Delta, like Coca-Cola, which were based in Atlanta, were still supporting some politicians that were effectively uh, uh, engaging in apartheid. And the students in the AUC said, we're not flying Delta. We're not drinking no Coca-Cola. If y'all are still uh, uh, effectively supporting apartheid. And that is how apartheid ended. Of course, along with the efforts of, you know, so many of uh, the freedom fighters along the way. But I'm saying that is the straw that broke the camel back. Of course. And the same way we could mobilize, we could galvanize our effort to do that, we could do it for anything, any purpose, any cause, any initiative that we see fit. We have the power, and that power is our dollar. And and to, and to add on to that, it's like, for me, it's like um, we can't try to tackle all the issues at once. And I, and, and, and I say that to say there's so many different issues that's going on in, in, in our country, in our communities. Again, you got the prison system, you got the educational system, you got unemployment, you got the poverty. Like we have to, we I think we have to figure out what pillar we gonna attack and, and, and focus on that as opposed to saying, yeah, our prisons is fucked up. The system is, the system is, is fucked up. Oh, police brutality. Oh, the education system is fucked up. And we going, we just we we double dutch it back and forth from all of these pillars. If we find what we're gonna attack, I think we will become a little bit more impactful that way, as opposed to trying to attack it as a whole package. Am, am, am I making any sense when I say that? Sure. I mean, I think that that, that you you make a lot of sense when you say that. But a multi layered problem deserves a multi layered approach. Okay. You dig what I'm saying? And it's enough of us in position that are aware and whatever uh, your particular passion is, you may have a passion for, for education and that may be the thing that you want to spearhead. Well, you should be the head of that. Right. I may have a passion for uh, 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 economic inclusion, making sure that, you know, uh, all uh, federal contracts have uh, 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 diverse, a uh, minority inclusion, and the the that the, the 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 money gets spread around. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the way it's supposed to be. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, and other people, you know what I'm saying? They may focus more so on police brutality. Other people may focus on, you know, it's so many different things to fight for. There's so many different things to fight for. So I think just like there is a, you got different branches of military. You got mm -hmm. F. You got the Navy, you got the Marines, you got the Army, you know what I'm saying? You got the SEALs, you got so many different branches that all focus on different things, but they under the same umbrella. And I think that is the kind of multi-layered approach we need. But what, yeah, I agree with that totally, 2,000%. But what is, what is our, how do, how do we explain that to, to me and you get it, right? You understand it, I understand it. People... Mm -hmm that we can reach and we talk to, they may understand it. But this new generation, I don't know if they understand that. And listen, bro, guess what? I ain't tripping off them not understanding because I don't understand everything they doing. Right. It ain't, all we got to do is be effective. They're just like, right? If, if they draft a new player to your team <laughs> and he don't understand English, <laughs> But this motherfucker could put points on the board. You dig what I'm saying? We're going to go get him a translator. That's you dig what I'm saying, man? I, hey, shoot. You see what I'm saying? We're going to find a way to communicate the bridge yeah. that gap. as long as he can get it done and I can get it done, then we can get it done together. You right. know what I'm saying? No matter whether you might disagree with me, I might disagree with you, but we both are passionate about the same subject, about the same issue that affects all of us. So, the one thing we can agree on is that we ain't fucking with this. So right. we ain't fucking with this. Then all of our effort, energy, and attention is diverted, uh, directed toward that. So it don't really matter the fact that you don't understand me. I don't understand you. You don't agree with me. I don't agree with you. Let's just get it done together. What's what's uh, and we you know we we can we can wrap it up after a couple after this. What's I think what's what's next for you? Like what's what's next for you? 
Um, you know, you, 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 I think you do a hell of a job of just holding your city down and representing your city to the highest fashion and Man, appreciate it. Kind of, kind of being that voice that, that, that doesn't go unnoticed. Appreciate uh, it. What's next though? Uh, man, it's a lot, bro. I want to, I want to help. What's immediate? What's immediate? Cause it's, it's different, right? What's next and what's immediate is two different things. Immediate is kind of trying to, to put some, some, some things together that will assist black businesses that have been affected by the demonstration. Uh, now, you know, there's collateral damage in, in, in any, in any, any battle. You don't have any. It's, ca it's, it's casualties in war, and that's that's what we act yeah, right now. Absolutely, absolutely. We want to minimize them as much as possible, but you know, it, let's consider that friendly fight. Right. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and now it's time for us to come to their aid. You know, because they didn't necessarily ask for this or deserve this. Uh, so, and most build most businesses, black businesses especially, if you look back historically, most black businesses that are burned down and that are uh, impacted by looting and rioting, uh, they don't come back. You dig what I'm saying? It's hard to come back. And we were just talking about that economic disparity that exists within our communities. We can't afford to let that gap get wider. Absolutely. You understand? So trying to kind of find what put systems in place, find ways to help and assist them. Um, that's 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 immediate. And also uh, finding ways, you know, to to direct our our consumer base. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I'm right now formalizing uh, a blackout where we will not spend any money unless with a black business um but we don't want to we, we want to make sure that we know at any moment we can affect your bottom line we can yeah. affect your profit margin which will affect your yearly your quarterly bonuses which okay. will keep you from being able to take your family on vacation which yeah. will keep you getting some every night and that makes my problem your problem yes so those are the things that we're kind of trying to put together and that we're you know like listen man I'm in the for-profit business. You understand? Like I have kind of diverted my attention from focusing on getting money to kind of focusing on helping and, and, and moving uh, for the for the for the purpose of the, of the cause. This ain't necessarily what I was trained to do. Right. I'm doing it because I have a genuine, sincere passion to help people who are in the position that I was fortunate enough to make it out of. Right. You Correct. Know? Um. So I'm 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 every day learning, surrounding myself with people who smarter than me, who could teach me the things that I might not know so well, uh, who could correct me where I may be incorrect, and and moving forward, man, with with more purpose, more passion, and make a more significant impact, man, on behalf of on behalf of the collective. <clears throat> with in 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 closing, what <clears throat> if you have to sum all of this up and give one quick message? To the people that's on the front line right now, what what is that message? We love you, we support you, and we are just as fed up as you are. Just put purpose with all your actions. That's love, man. T, I, I appreciate you, champ. It's always love. Salute to a general, man. Right on. Whenever you need for me, I'm here. You got me. Let's do this together. Let's link up. Let's figure this shit out, man. Because it's, it's it's a lot of steps that we have to take. To make change Absolutely. <clears throat> but, we, but we got to start from somewhere so again i appreciate you bro love man peace man love and respect we got to get your expeditiously too man hey i'm let me know let me know <laughs> i'm ready i can't wait cheers uh, cheers man cheers indeed peace baby to all of y'all who's out there watching I'm, I'm switching over to ig live in about 10 minutes so go get ready i'll see y'all over there peace